हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड दैट इज द सेकेंड ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव ग्लैंड इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी अर्लियर डिस्कस अबाउट सेलाइवरी ग्लैंड सो एज वी नो गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड दे आर द ग्लैंड विच आर प्रजेंट इन साइड द स्टमक देयर इज नियरली थर्टी फाइव मिलियंस ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड दैट इज इन साइड द स्टमक सो वैन वी डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ह्यूमन स्टमक वी डिस्कस ह्यूमन स्टमक इज अ जे सेप स्ट्रक्चर एंड देर आर फोर पार्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन स्टमक दीज फोर पार्ट आर रेस्पेक्टिवली कार्डियक फंडिक बॉडी एंड पायलोरिक कार्डियक इज एक्चुअली द एंटीरियर पार्ट फंडिक एंड बॉडी दिस इज मिडिल पार्ट वाइल द पायलोरिक इज अबाउट द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द स्टमक इन दिस डायग्राम you can clearly see about the anatomical view of stomach so there is a huge number of folds that you can see inside the stomach these folds are known as rugi so this is about the innermost layer of stomach that have the foldings this rugi further carries a number of pits that pits are known as gastric pits and in this gastric pits you can see about a type of cells like mucus cells chief cells parietal cells and gastric cells these all cells are responsible for a number of secretions the sum of all secretion is known as gastric secretion or gastric juice here in this diagram you can clearly see this is about a simple gastric pit that carries a number of cells like first is about mucus neck cells they are for secretion of mucus and this mucus is helpful for protection of innermost layer of stomach that is mucosa by mucus cells or by mucus neck cells that also known as goblet cells there will be secretion of bicarbonates the second one is parietal cells parietal cells will secrete gastric acid that is hydrochloric acid or hcl this parietal cell is also known as auxentic cells along with hcl there is also secretion of casals intrinsic factor this is a type of glycoprotein which will help in absorption of vitamin b12 as well as calcium ions the next cell is enterochromaffin cells this is also known as argentafin cells this is for secretion of serotonin as well as histamine serotonin is a vasoconstrictor this causes constriction of stomach while histamine is a vasodilator that causes dilation of stomach muscles both these serotonin and histamine is responsible for regulation of muscular movement of stomach after this the next one is chief cells these cells also known as peptic or zymogen cells and these cells are for secretion of protein digestive enzymes like propepsin and prorenin propepsin also known as pepsinogen this is inactive form of pepsin while prorenin is inactive form of renin along with this there is also a little secretion of gastric lipase there is also d and g cells d cells they are for secretion of somatostatin as we discuss by argentafin cells so they are same and this is for inhibition of acid secretion while g cells this one is for secretion of gastrin hormone and gastrin hormone is responsible for overall activities of all these cells all these cells which we discuss here like mucus neck cells parietal cells enterochromaffin cells d cells g cells chief cells all they are present in the body segment or we can say middle part of stomach 
here this is about the further revision of the same thing as we discuss gastric glands they are present inside the stomach and there are nearly 35 millions of gastric gland we can divide stomach into four parts these four parts are cardiac fundic body and pyloric so cardiac part is actually the anterior part of the stomach we discuss stomach is j shape and here in this anterior part there is presence of mucus neck cells or goblet cells these cells are for secretion of mucus this mucus is helpful for protection of whole of the inner mucosal lining of stomach as well as there is also secretion of bicarbonates the second part is middle part which may further subdivided into two the earlier one is fundic while the maximum region of this middle part is known as body so this middle part carries maximum of gastric glands here there are four different types of cells so we have to discuss about all the first as we discuss peptic gymogen or cheap cells they are for secretion of pepsinogen and proranin this pepsinogen is also known as propepsin both these are inactive enzymes they both are getting activated by the secretion of parietal cells that is hcl so these are both pro enzymes or inactive enzymes or gymogens along with this there is also secretion of gastric lipase that is related with lipid digestion so pepsinogen when converted into pepsin this causes digestion of any kind of protein while proranin this converted into renin by activity of hcl and this causes only conversion of milk protein that is casein into para casein proranin or renin their secretion occurs only and only in children in adult this is not secreted and this functioning is also performed by the pepsin the second one is auxentic or parietal cells which is secreting hydrochloric acid or we can say gastric acid its ph is 1.8 so this is very very important the ph of hydrochloric acid that secreted in stomach is 1.8 it means this is strongly acidic along with hcl there is also secretion of casals intrinsic factor that we discuss is a type of glycoprotein and this glycoprotein is helpful for absorption of vitamin b12 along with calcium ions now the third one is given here again mucus neck cells as we discuss here in the anterior part so mucus neck cells are also here and the functioning is same for secretion of mucus the fourth one is argentafin cells also known as enterochromaffin cells they are for secretion of serotonin that is a vasoconstrictor this causes constriction or shrinking of stomach the next one is histamine that causes dilation of muscles of stomach so both these serotonin and histamine they are respectively vasoconstrictor and vasodilator and the both are responsible for muscular movement of stomach now about the last part that is posterior part of stomach this is known as pyloric part so this pyloric part again carrying the same thing mucus neck cells for secretion of mucus along with mucus neck cells there is also g cells or gastrin cells present in this pyloric or posterior part of the stomach this g cell or gastrin cell they are secreting gastrin hormone and this gastrin hormone is a localized hormone localized hormones are those which are functional at the same site of secretion but they circulated only via blood so this gastrin hormone stimulates gastric walls and this causes the muscular motility of stomach as well as also stimulate the rest of the gastric glands for their respective gastric juice secretion the next is about gastric juice 
सो वाट इज गैस्ट्रिक जूस दिस इज सम ऑफ ऑल सिक्रीसन एक्सेप्ट हॉर्मोन सो देर इज म्यूकस देर इज बाई कार्बोनेट आइंस देर इज प्रो पैप्सिन प्रो रेनिन एच सी एल कैसल्स इंट्रेंसिक फैक्टर ऑल दीज एलोंग विद ईच आर नोन एज गैस्ट्रिक जूस वाट इज अबाउट द क्वान्टिटी सो टू टू थ्री लीटर गैस्ट्रिक जूस सिक्रीटेड पर डे इफ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द नेचर सो दिस इज strongly acidic as we discuss ph of hcl which is in stomach is carrying 1.8 in this gastric juice there is 99% water while along with this there is also presence of mucus salts and hcl along with the proteinaceous enzyme now about the function of gastric gland so they are for inactivation of tylen salivary amylase tylen or diastase we discuss in salivary glands topic so salivary gland secretion that is saliva is getting inactivated when this reaches into stomach by gastric juice second gastric juice makes medium acidic and this acidic medium is strongly needed for enzymatic activities in stomach the third one is about killing of microbes so gastric juice causes killing of harmful pathogenic substance which moves along with the food in our stomach and the last gastric juice also causes preservation of food in our stomach